Hey, welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm your undisputed host, Zlevin, with Time for RPGs. And today I'm going to be doing something different. Uh, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, but today I'm going to be showing you how to basically mod your Persona 4 Golden Steam installation um, so you can like do a whole bunch of crazy stuff with it. So I don't know when I'm going to put this video up. I don't know if I'm going to put this up before the recorded Persona 4 gameplay I have or after. It doesn't matter. But to start off, um, when I was playing Persona 4 Golden, I was like, some of this stuff seems kind of wacky. I want to save a little time. And I know that previously I had put in or put up a video for Persona 5 before Persona 5 Royal came out um, that showed people how to mod the game on R pcs3 i think that's how you say it the, the ps3 emulator so i wanted to see if there was a way to mod the pc version and apparently there is so i'm going to try and fumble through this um i haven't really planned anything out but i have been reading up on what's available and it looks like the persona 4 golden community enhancement pack is the easiest thing to start off with so let's start there the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this this place, which I will put in the description, Nexus Mods Persona 4 Golden, and look for the P4G Community Enhancement Pack. Um, if I were you, don't install mods on your system unless you understand what you're doing. So read the fucking manual, RTFM. Uh, read through what it's providing. Uh, open up all this stuff, the essentials, the fixes, the overhauls, the expansions. The balancing and the tweaks, the cutscenes, the music, the portraits, the interface, the menus, the miscellaneous, and the cheats. Open them up in new tabs and kind of read what they do so you can figure out what you want to get. Um, once you've done all of that nonsense, the first thing that you're going to want to do if you're on Nexus Mods is go to Files and install it um, somewhere. It's going to come in a, a zip file. I've actually already done that on my end. So... I just need to, let's see, bring that up. So, no, that's not it. There we go. So I downloaded already. I have it right there, right? Once you have it downloaded, there is in the description over here, you can go to the GitHub. So complete step-by-step -step instructions are hosted on the GitHub. I have that opened here and I will put that in the description box below so that you know where to go or you can just RTFM once again. And this, you know, tells you basically what you're getting into over 40 enhancement mods for Persona 4 Golden. And they even have a Discord server, which I actually have not checked out yet. So I'm going to go to the installation instructions and try, like I said, try and fumble through this. When I was reading this, um, it, it does require requirements before you actually start. So I already have three gigabytes of space, internet connection, unmodified Persona 4 Golden, and a 64-bit uh, Windows 10 system. My file name extensions are on. And what that basically means is when you go into, for the people who don't know, you go and look at something, it won't just say install prerequisites. It'll say install prerequisites.exe. The .exe is your file extension. I don't have an old installation, so I'm going to skip that. And this next part says set up a P4G mods folder. I don't think it's required, and I'll probably find out the hard way that you put this in your My Documents folder. I'm not gonna do that because I don't like putting stuff in my documents folder. I'm gonna put it on one of my other drives, which I have done so in here. Let me make this bigger. There we go. Um, and I'm going to keep it there unless I run into issues. And then this is the part that kind of messed me up. You can either do an automatic download of all of the required files that you need. Uh, it says here that there are five .NET and Visual C++ packages that are necessary for it to run. I already had the top two of the prerequisites, so I just went and manually downloaded these and installed them. Um, you can use, you know, the bat file, whatever they're using to do that automatically, but I'm a little bit more hesitant to do that. So I always just download it myself. And then next, Steam Setup. 
Open up Steam properties and go to your library. Select Persona 4 Golden in your list of games. Right click it and select properties. So let's see if we can do that real quick. I have, oh, cancel that. I have my Steam right here. Let's see if I can make that just a tiny bit smaller. Okay. So right click properties. We are going to be disabling the uh, automatic updates. I don't see that option there because steam is greedy. So let's try only update this game when I launch it and never allow background downloads. I think that should stop it. I think steam a long time ago, they, they stopped the ability for people to never do updates, which is pretty shitty because some games, you know, you just don't want to update because you have it modded, but whatever. Let's hope that works. So yeah, they did the same thing. Only update the game when I launch it. So set text language to English. Why wouldn't that be English? Okay. Enable Steam input, some newer games, all controller types. Man, they are going all out on this on this setup. That's good enough. I don't think I've ever used a PlayStation controller on my PC. Uh, you may want to go into those settings and update that if you love the PlayStation controller on your PC, so that's fine. Sep is only compatible with the latest. Okay, so we're unmodified. I shouldn't be in any betas for Persona 4 Golden because I just bought it. But we can check it. So none. All right. Verify the game files. I already played the game, so I know it's working. I'm not going to verify the integrity, but if I were you, I would do that for yourself. And open the Persona 4 Golden folder. Make sure there is an executable file named p4g.exe, which I do have here. So we're good on that. All right. Disable special K. What is that? If you do not have special K installed for P4G, skip this step. P4G mod loader and the special K software are incompatible. I don't think I have that. EX. EXIGI, what? Okay, so yeah, I don't see that. I don't even know what special K is, so I probably don't have it. So next, Reloaded 2 setup. So Reloaded 2, open source program that injects mods in the P4G with the P4G PC mod loader program, first launch. All right, so this is when you, if you have your P4G mods folder inside your My Documents, you would go there and launch uh, Reloaded2.exe. I have it somewhere else special, so we're gonna do that first. Let's see what I get. Mod tools reloaded two dot exe. Mm -mm -mm. It's my first time. They're already saying there's a, a new version of this <laughs> Persona 4 Golden PC Anaba. So, yeah, let's just download it. Save me some time. And an update. All right. So, the first thing we're going to do is disable the console that Reloaded 2 shows when running the game because it's distracting and can lower the frame rate. All 
After closing the first launch pop-up, disable the show console by changing the red plus to a gray minus. Where's that at? Right there? Okay. Done. Configure Persona 4 Golden. Open, open application settings. Select the Persona 4 Golden icon on the left side of the window. The protagonist dreamy face. Okay. Configure opening movie. If you don't want to change the opening movie, skip this step. Mm -mm. All right, so yeah, I was complaining about that when I was playing. So let's let's do that real quick because I wasn't used to the opening movie. Uh, okay, so configure mod, I'm not used to that. So remember how I said that you need to read about what some of the mods do um, so you don't miss things. This is one of those instances. I was reading about this tiny fixes and apparently there's a bug with the intro skip. So I'm not going to turn that on. Um, I will leave on the new game plus save slot fix subtitle fixes and the text wrap fix. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the use the vanilla. Uh, Persona 4 title movie. See what that does. I can always come back in here and turn it off. So save. I think it saved. It didn't give me any pop-ups or anything. So close. Go back. Yep, it's saved. Good. Next. Mm -mm. Yep, I already did that. Set the P4G path so under the main section on the left side of the window click edit application yeah because mine's in a different location um under the protagonist dreamy face you will see three lines edit the second line to match okay so let's do that Oh, okay. So yeah, I guess I need to add that too. I am adding on the Persona 4 golden.exe at the end of this so that we know where exactly it's going. There, perfect. Just like this. I don't need to create a desktop shortcut yet. Nah, you know what? I'll do it for the for the sake of for the sake of this. So create shortcut. Persona Four Golden Reloaded. Good. I'll probably move that to my start menu. Let's see. It's right there. Beautiful. And now we are going to do a quick test run. Under the main section on the left side of the window, click launch application. <laughs> Everything wants access. And it looks like it's starting. That's good. Good news, right? <laughs> Look at that. Playing the original. Alright, so that looks good. What else does this say? Mm -mm. If everything works, you're ready to move on, so we're going to close it. Close.